Okay, let's go. I don't really have any ideas of where I'm gonna start today. Sometimes I have a rough idea of what I wanna do. Not today. So maybe I'll start with the uh, drums. Let's use this the more realistic sounding kit, why not? Faster. And put in a basic beat just to get some ideas going. See, this doesn't sound very chip tune. Redux should help with that. Uh, we'll start with that, maybe adjust it later if it doesn't fit very well. And haven't done any sort of arpeggiated chord things in a while, so maybe I'll start with that. And just get a chord progression going. This keyboard visualizer. Yeah, maybe stop something as simple as that, but, but instead of doing the polyphonic chord, switch it to mono. And just arpeggiate. Arpeggiate it quickly for that chip sound. Short attack and release. And just draw something in. Sixty fourth notes. What if we go up and down? I think I like just up. Chord 
pull that up. Let's get that to rhythm. So I'm holding control here to copy things over. Uh, that's some decent drums, chord progression. Let's stick in a bass part. Use a, a triangle for this. So, in Ableton, easy triangle, get it from operator. Just 
YouTube as the default one. tempting to go too complicated with this but I'll keep it simple so there's room for a melody line to do the complex stuff bring it back up to the heart. two squares I should probably change the pulse width of one so then the other has a different pulse width and they don't clash so much on this so the long held notes don't sound so boring gives them a bit of wiggle so turn the LFO on make it nice and mm, speed up a little bit then we need to send the uh, pitch to it so then you only need to do a tiny bit Turn up a little bit while I test the rate. This might be better. 
we'll stay in time with the music by using this. It's a nice little bit of a delay, so it only triggers off a little. a bit of the harshness of the highs. Let's see how it works all together. See now that melody I quite liked, couldn't remember it. Use this capture thing. No idea why I played, it was an accident. to make sort out the levels a little bit. So I'll start with the drums, fade this in until it sounds alright. a lot of head so that, that leaves a lot of headroom but that's good you can always bring it up in uh, later on in mixing or mastering
probably a bit more to this melody, so a little bit short. Sort of just arbitrarily placing these notes in some way different. And as I listen to it, I think that sounds good, or I don't like it. So complimentary lead. So we've got drums, uh, chords, lead one. sound different. Go.
Okay, let's try and get a B section going. There we go. contrast in the previous section with something quite sort of delicate.
so they both work with the bass part each time, so even though there's only two variations of the chords, it mixes differently with the bass part each time, so it keeps it interesting, I think.
So yeah, so we'll go from this section. I can play that once all the way through. to listen to for a little bit. Same velocity. some structure in before we write any more bits. How can we start? Probably with the chords.
needs a bit more of the upbeat stuff before we go to this section. So for a second we'll do this. Maybe instead of all this that star base, then all of it that star base. Basically.
to be. So to maybe do a drum fill somewhere. back. 